What's up guys, welcome to the Game and Party channel, and today, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to play Trapper Keeper, the game. If you're like me, these are nostalgic, had these when I was a kid in school, and yes, it even has the Velcro on it to open up. I'm going to show you how the game plays, and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. To set up a game of Trapper Keeper, you're going to take the locker cards here, which are contain lots of different types of cards, and you're going to deal them into nine stacks here, all face down, and turn the top card of each stack face up. I'll do that now. All right, now that we have the cards out in these nine different stacks, we turn over the top card of each stack, like so, and that's pretty much the setup of the game. Let me show you what the cards are in the game and kind of tell you what the point is of the game before we get started here. So in this game, there are uh, different types of cards. There are secret note cards. There are like a note from Lily here, a note from Archer. There are quizzes, a chemistry quiz, a math quiz, a few other ones. There's field trip cards, a parental signature card, homework report cards, and a detention notice. You also have these handy dandy little folders. These are so cute. And it's got your little doodle table here on the left hand side, which actually it, uh, comes into play in the game, believe it or not. Remember that cool S you used to draw when you were a kid? Yeah. And then over here on the right, this shows you the breakdown of the score. So the scores are pretty easy. So for quizzes, you score three, two, or one points as indicated on them. So on each quiz card, there is a number at the bottom. So for example, this chemistry quiz here scores you one point, and the math quiz scores you two points. The next one down is your homework. Your homework, if you have the most homework cards, you're going to get six points. If you have the second most, you're going to get third. If you're tied with somebody, then you get both of those points. So uh, if someone is tied with you, you're going to get six, and that other person will get six also for having the most homework cards. And it shows you that at the bottom of the card. Lots of little references in here, which is great. The next thing is detention. Uh, if you have a detention card, you're going to get two points for each one you have. But if you have the most detention cards, you're going to get zero points. It's cool to be edgy, but not to be a burnout. That's what it says in the rules. All right. And uh, notes. Uh, you have one, three, six, or 12 points per unique set. So what's a unique set? Uh, so there are four different characters in the game. They give you notes. And here are two of them here. Here's Archer and Lily. So if I have a note from Archer and Lily, that is a unique set of two, which would be three points. And so if I get another set from Lily and Archer, then that would be another set of two with three points. If I get two from the other people in the game, if I have all four, that's 12 points in the game. So there are four different characters in the game that give you notes. So that's what these cards do in terms of scoring. There's one other way that you score, and that is with doodles. So when you collect a card, which I'll show you how to do in a moment, you're going to slide it into your folder here, either on the left-hand side, where it says blue doodle, and your blue doodles will show here, or you're going to slide it in on the right-hand side, right here, and that's where you get to see your, your red doodles here. So the doodles that are showing are the ones that are going to score you at the end uh, on that side. So for example, let's say I've done uh, this right here, put a bunch of them on this side over here, and a bunch of them on this side over here. At the end of the game, I'll pull this out, and all the blue doodles on these cards will count because they came from that left-hand side. And then these cards over here, when I pull these out, all the red doodles on these cards will count because they were on the right-hand side where it says red doodle. And, and doodles are scored by whoever has the most of them. So, for example, there's a smiley face here. There's five different doodles in the game. It shows you over here. So we've got the tic-tac-toe, the smiley face, the cool S, a cube, and a heart. If you have the most of any one of those, you're going to get five points. If you tie with someone, you both get the five points. So collecting the same doodle and putting it on the right side so you show, show those doodles is important in this game to get points also. So how do you collect cards? How do you play the game? Well, after you have these nine stacks out here, like so, dealt out, you set the timer cards next to the table here. It says you're going to shuffle these up and just deal six of them out. And in a five-player game, you're only going to use five of these. And these are basically the timer for the game. This little apple here is your first player marker or teacher's pet. So whoever has that is going to be the person turning over this cards, uh, these cards from the time deck here. And you're going to turn over the top card of this time deck here. And that's the first round has begun. And you have three choices on your turn. You can take a row, or you can take a column of cards, or you can take cards that are in the orientation that's shown on this card here. So for example, I could take these red lockers here. So I could take this top one, I could take this middle one, and I could take this bottom one, because they're in that shape. I could take the top one here, this one, and the bottom one. You cannot rotate it though, so I can't do this and take these three cards here. It has to be in the orientation that you've turned the card over, and it stays in this orientation the whole time. 
So at this point, I have three choices. I can take either one of these columns, I can take either one of these rows, or I can take the orientation that's shown there. So let's just say I take this bottom one here. So I get a, a note from Lily, a note from Archer, and I get a note from Zeus, Zuzu, well, which is great. So that's a set of three. So that's six points from right there. And now I've got to decide how I'm going to put these in my folder here. And I look at these, I say, look, I've got uh, hearts here, I've got cubes, I've got these. Um, let's see, you know what, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this one on this side, so my hearts are showing over here. And I'm going to place the other one on this side. So now I've got four hearts showing. I'm getting to where I can have more and more hearts. And then I will place these over here just for smiley faces. I'll try to look for those later on in the game. Uh, you're not allowed to rearrange your cards at any point in time. You cannot take the side from blue and move it over to the red. But you can pull these out and look at them. So you're able to pull these out and look, see what you have, and put them back in if you'd like. Uh, you continue doing this until the time deck runs out. Um, uh, to reset the cards, if there's ever three or less cards shown, so let's say someone comes along now and they take this middle row here, now you're down to three cards or less, then you turn over the cards that are face down right now. If there's four cards or less, like so, then you don't do anything. The next person only has four cards to choose from, basically. Uh, you keep doing that until this time deck runs out here. Once this time deck runs out, uh, that's the end of the game, and you add up your points. And like I said, scoring is pretty easy. You do the doodles first, and then you score based on this item over here. Uh, the, the one that can be a little tricky is the report card and the field trip notes. So let me show you how those score. So basically, you've got a report card, and it says one point for each homework you have, but only if it's paired with a signature card. So let me pull up a signature card here. Parental signature. Of course, you've got to get your parents to sign your report card. So if you have it signed, like, you pair these together, and now you'll get one point for your homework you have. So if you've collected six homework cards in the game, that'd be six points for you, but only if your parents signed your report card. There's another card that comes along, though, that needs a signature also, and that's your field trip. You cannot go on the field trip unless your parents sign the release note, okay? You know that. So you pair it with this, and now you get four points if paired with a signature card. But you can only pair your signature card with one or the other, not both. So if I want the four points from the field trip, I would pair it there. If I want the four points from the, or how many points I'm going to get for the homework, I'd pair it there. So, of course, if I have a lot of homework cards, more than four, then I'm probably going to pair it with my report card. If I don't, then I'll pair it here. If you have multiple parental signatures, then you can, of course, pair one over here and one over here. Uh, again, detention. If you have the most of these, you're getting zero points. And again, each of the cards has little notes at the bottom here. It shows you kind of uh, what to expect in the game here, how the scoring works. That's it. That's pretty much how the game works. Uh, it comes with a little cool score pad here. Uh, the score pad, uh, you mark down your doodles here, so you write down whether you got the five points or not for each one of the doodles, which is uh, nice. And then you mark down how many quizzes, etc. Uh, pretty easy game to play. Plays pretty quick. It's basically a set collecting game. Is it best game in the world? No. But is it nostalgic? Yes. It's so cute. So there you go. Nice, simple little set collecting game called the Trapper Keeper game. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, give me a like on this video, and subscribe to my channel. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, check out our podcast. And you can find us on all of our social media sites on GameAndParty.com. See you on the next video.